recruiting was invited to take part in this event as we were last year and the year before. We're not here recruiting, we're here keeping the army in the public eye. Uh, this is about community engagement and it's about letting everybody know the army is still here and we are still recruiting um, and we want to engage with the public and let them know that. And if people will just come on over and talk with our soldiers, climb on the trucks, have a go on the inflatable obstacle course, take some literature away, they can find out about what different careers there are on offer, what big trucks, if you like, they could get to drive, but there's so much more than that. Uh, so that's it's, it's keeping the idea of the army still recruiting, still alive, because people are of the view that with all the cuts, we're not recruiting anymore. Trucks or any forms of, of, of wheeled transport are vital for the army. Um, it's said that for every frontline soldier, there are two soldiers back there uh, making sure he or she is equipped with what they need to live, work and fight, essentially. Um, and it's not just about the trucks. We have to deliver goods for the soldiers in other ways as well, because sometimes the roads are impassable. We can deliver by boat, by air, by rail. Um, it's not just by road, but it's difficult to get all those other things here today. So this is a, a, a truck event, so we brought some pretty big trucks along. It has of late, although we're doing all right right now, especially on the regular soldier and regular officer. The Armour Reserve, we, we, we want to recruit more people into the Armour Reserve. People think we're not recruiting, as I said, because of cutbacks and they see oh the army can't be recruiting because they're making people redundant but we are constantly needing fresh young people in and and the army never stops recruiting the army is always recruiting so please come and talk to us if you're interested we would love to talk to you we're looking for people with some character about them um, you don't need GCSEs to be in the army. It helps if you do because it opens up many more career choices for you. We want somebody who is prepared to get fit um, and is motivated and is prepared to go through our training. Um, and we'll do the rest. You know, we'll provide you with the apprenticeship, with the appropriate training, uh, with a decent salary, with the, the clothing, the trips abroad, the adventurous training, everything that goes with that whole package. This is a vocation. This is so much more than just a job. So, you know, if you're enthusiastic about it, do come and talk and we'll tell you what jobs are open to you. They can search army jobs on the internet. They can come into any of our uh, army career centres and again, you can search with them on, on the internet or in the phone book. Um, or you can go into your local army reserve centre. Uh, again, look in the phone book or look on the internet. Um, or stop one of us in the street, you see us walking down the street in uniform, uh, a lot of our career centres are in the city centre on the high street, you might see us about, have a chat. I think the event has been superbly organised and the events team have been really, really supportive of the army. Um, the, and there are loads of people here, it's been well publicised, uh, it's well attended and so we've had uh, a huge hands-on with the public uh, we, and I just love engaging with the public and telling them what we do. It's been really good.